three minutes today. Well, I think he needs to just manage the game and let it come to him. And Kidd takes care of business in the opening tip. And here we go. It's great to have you with us. ACC Courtside Saturdays on the CW beginning here in Blacksburg. Hokey six and three. And inside immediately, Kidd. And get him the ball in good spots, too. He leads the ACC in field goal percentage. Just about 70%. Jackson Edwards from the wing cashes in the three. Foul ball, you want to make sure that you come out and play this game with offensive discipline because, again, Virginia Tech, they're going to play hard defense, and they're going to want to try to turn those miscues into easy baskets. You see Tyler Nickel. Edwards on the drive. Tough contested shot goes. A nice runner by Edwards. Again, you see a little change up, a little matchup zone for Valparaiso. Couture from the corner, connects. Three returning scholarship players from last year, none who had huge roles. Oh, beautiful. And it's Elijah Petit quickly converting off the game. Forces them to come over and then drops it over to Petit to being able to finish. Virginia Tech to steal. King all the way. How about the big fella being able to show his handle? Now watch the steal. You see Lynn Kidd get ahead and then, again, realize he's got a little guard. He's like, you're too little. Looking forward to Charlotte and Duke at 2.15. Both those teams 5-3. and three. Another terrible pass. Collins throws it away, and he's Stafford lays it in. Majority of Valpo's points have come off pokey turnovers. Tyler Nichol. That's cash. We see multiple occasions. Take by Jackson Edwards off the dribble. The 10th Hokie turnover. You see the penetration by Edwards, and you see a little over four minutes left to go in this first half. You Valparaiso. You got to continue to run your offense. You got to make shots. I mean, right there on cue. You know, they were able to turn Virginia Tech over. You want to see what you can get some early offense. There's three more for Hunter Couture. <laughs> Look at the distance that he's able to shoot the ball. And I like that he's balanced and not trying to do too much with Sean Padulao. That felt like such a critical possession. Below average by what you're used to from Virginia Tech early this year. But Tyler Nichols trying to change that. But that's the guy that I think is going to get better. You see, control on the respawn. Uh, obviously, that's not what you want to do, especially on the road for a guy that's struggling to score. Diavero's pass deflected. Nichols steals it up ahead for Long. And then again, you see Long on it for the finish. Virginia Tech off doing it on a Saturday afternoon. I've always been that guy who believes that preparation breeds confidence. And I know that Hunter Couture is a gym rat. You see the penetration by Edwards again. And here's the thing is that not only, I don't know if he would stuck around for four years in the Probably not. And, and, and in this day and age, probably not. Get off the snide here. Next down and second from Elijah Poti. And, and here's the thing, Rick Steiner came up with that pick. He hugged that pick where he forced the defender to have the trail. And that's a great play by Rick Steiner. Tom couldn't catch the entry pass. Collins comes up with a steal. Couture to Barron. Beautiful. You watch the, the finish by Poteet off of a pass. He didn't reach, and he just used his length. Kid knocks it down. We talked about Kid not getting a lot of shots, but very unselfish play by Couture. Seth gets it back to a 23-point game, snaps the 9-0 run. I got a question, Brian. I don't want you to be insulted by it. Did anybody ever chant airball at you when you were playing, and did you hear it? First of all, man, how dare you, because... <laughs> Can you imagine? Maybe in Papa shot me if I shot an airball, and that's even highly unlikely. Stafford knocks down the jumper. Final six seconds. Isaiah Stafford over Wessler. Comes up short, and that will do it today.